we're to favorites of uh, 2024, and I can't really believe that we're here already, but we are. So I thought I'd get started with what I have on, and then we'll get into favorites of the year. And today I went ahead and mixed the Revolution Skin Silk, uh, the BP Bronzer Drops, and uh, the Liquid Lights by ColourPop. So I mixed all three of these to go ahead and get my base today. And then um, as far as what I did for blush and highlighter, I went ahead and I grabbed out the Moira and um, I went ahead and used the Foxy Pink as far as my blush today. And then I went ahead and used the Moira and this is the Daylight Highlighter. And so I went ahead and used that as my highlighter. And actually both of these are listed as highlighter, but the Foxy Pink I can actually use as a blush and so I do. And um, I think actually to go along with that, I did go ahead and use the MAC Bronzer in Light Radiant Rosy. So that's what I have on for my bronzer. I did go ahead and use a little bit of the Beauty Pie, or the Beauty Pie um, Triple Glow Powder as um, my finishing powder. And then as far as what I used on the eyes today, um, I did go ahead and pick up the Trick or Treat palette by Angie. Uh, this was her Halloween palette, I think from two years ago. And um, it's an Odin's Eye palette. And so that's what I went ahead and used today. Um, I used this on the outer corner and then this on the lid. I topped um, this really deep dark green with this and so that's really pretty and I went ahead and used this uh, pretty yellow from the inner corner all the way up to here and actually I think I'll put a little bit more right into here. There we go. So now we're shimmery everywhere. And so lots of shimmer in this eye look and very, very pretty. I also used an, I think an Emride eyeliner. Which one is this one? Yeah, the Emride eyeliner in green as well. And so this is what I have on and I think it's an absolutely gorgeous palette. I definitely recommend picking it up. And um, as far as going ahead and getting into the rankings, um, I guess we'll go ahead and get started and what I've been doing for this half of the year has really been going ahead and mixing all of um mixing my own concoctions so I've been taking foundations bronzing drops and highlighters and really mixing them all together to come up with my own sort of a mixture and so I thought I'd go through all the parts and pieces of that and as far as bronzing drops we can start with those I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 110 um, the Elf Bronzing Drops in Rose Gold and these BP Bronzing Drops and these are over at Dollar Tree so um, actually these are the toughest to get a hold of because they sell out every time over a Dollar Tree. Um, but these are what I've been using as my bronzing drops and like I said I've been going ahead and mixing bronzing drops, foundation, and highlighter together to come up with my own concoctions here and I'm just showing you what I've been using as my base products. Um, as far as what I've been using for foundation, uh, the Maybelline Super Stay C Plus and 102, uh, the Revolution Skin Silk and F2, these have been my two favorites. And I really, I love both of these formulas. They're really good. They just came out this year. I tested them and they really work really well. So I'll use either or of these and, um, and either or of the bronzing drops as far as what I've been using for the highlighter and again I've been mixing that into the foundation uh, the L'Oreal Lumi Glow are the ColourPop liquid lights and so um, yeah I've been mixing 
Bronson Drops Foundation and Highlighter together to make my own custom blend. And these are the products that I've been using to do that. Uh, if I'm going for a lighter day where I'm not going to be going hand and blending, um, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator is a favorite. And then as far as looking at some that are a little bit higher end, and again, I do mostly indie and uh, drugstore, so I don't do that many high end. Um, I have the Performer, and uh, this one's by About Face, the Mac Studio Radiance, and then I also have the CoverGirl uh, Simply Ageless Skin Perfector. This one I have in Fair, this one I have in F2, and the Mac, I'm not sure which one I have in this one, to tell you the truth. Um, but these are the three that I have that are higher end that I would go ahead and use and recommend to everyone. Um, this year has been huge as far as blush goes. There is a ton of blush that came out, and um, I guess maybe we should get into it, but why don't we hit bronzer first? Because bronzer is actually a really easy category for me. Um, I have the MAC Light Radiant Rosy. These are wonderful bronzers. If you want to go ahead and pick them up, they're great. Um, the one that came out that everybody's been talking about has been the NYX Buttermelt Bronzers, and I actually had three different shades of these. And they've what, what I've been using all year long. And um, it smells so good, and uh, they have a whole bunch of different shades that have uh, different bases to them, so they're a lot of fun to go ahead and get a couple of different shades and try them. Um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of different ones that I've been picking up throughout the year. So yeah, definitely very good bronzers um, over at the drugstore and about $10 a piece, but you can find them on sale now. So that's what I've been mainly using as bronzer throughout the year. And then moving on to blush, and this is where it gets really complicated because there are so many of them. Um, let's go ahead and start with the beginning of the year. And Essence came out with the Pure Nude. This one's in Pretty Peach and then this one's in Shimmery Rose. These are all ones that are a baked formula and um, they're really pretty. Uh, the amount of shimmer depends on which shade that you get. And so definitely would go ahead and recommend these. In essence, it's going to be an Alta. And usually, I think these are like 5 or $6. They're not that expensive. Uh, the other ones that came out, again, were the NYX Buttermilk Blushes. And these made a huge, big impact when they came out. Uh, they're all powder blushes. They're very, very pretty. They're drugstore. And so and they smell wonderful. So yeah, I've been using a whole bunch of these and really enjoying these as well. Got a whole bunch of colors and now that uh, NYX is having their end of year sale, you can go ahead and find these on sale, which is even better. And then um, as far as what else came out this year, actually what's been popular this year, um, definitely the e.l.f. and these are the liquid blushes. Uh, my favorite one is probably Magic Hour, but I like all of them, and the highlighters. Uh, they tend to be a really metallic look, so if you like a metallic blush, these will definitely be ones to go ahead and grab. Uh, the next ones that probably came out were the e.l.f. blushes, and again, liquid blushes. Um, whole huge color range. They're still adding to their color range. They're really, really pretty and uh, definitely would recommend for anyone that is looking for some blushes. Uh, ColourPop came out with their liquid blushes, which again, I would definitely go ahead and recommend. And I've had nothing good luck, but good luck with all of these. So good, uh, good ones there. 
uh, during the fall, Wet and Wild came out with a, um, let's see, Nightmare Before Christmas collection. And they came out with their lip and cheek colors. And they had some really, really pretty colors as well. So they did a collection there too. It turned out really well. Um, <clears throat> trying to think. Again, uh, the ColourPop blushes really I've added to my collection this year because I really like their Super Shock blushes. In fact, I think I'm going to add some. This one is Bardo. And there we go with that. Yeah, there we go. That's a really pretty bronzy kind of one. Added a little bit more color into there. And, um, oh, of course I had something that I forgot. And I actually have a, um, the Tear Tear Foundation, which I thought worked really well too as far as long wear and stain. And, um, on Amazon, they have two different sizes, so you can get a smaller or large. So if you wanted to, just go ahead and try out one of the smaller ones you can. But as far as long wear for foundation, these really work. Um, let's see, what else did I have? Um, highlighters. And people said highlighters aren't in this year, but for me, they never go out of style. So um, again, the Liquid Lights by ColourPop. And uh, the, <clears throat> pardon me, the Super Shocks by ColourPop. This is um, Icicle Spree from the Frosty Collection and Winter Wonder from the uh, Frosty Collection. They're really, uh, they're cream and they are just sheer and they have a lot of just really pretty. So, yeah, pretty, pretty colors. As I'm putting all the makeup on as I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay. So maybe I shouldn't put all the makeup on. But um, they are my favorites. So definitely uh, some of my favorites right there. Um, I did go through a whole flexitarian during the year. And I never do that. But uh, this is what I got to go ahead and uh, replace the flexitarian. And it's very pretty. And then I went ahead and grabbed the Rare Beauty, the Mesmerize. And this is a really pretty highlighter as well. Definitely would go ahead and recommend it to anybody. This formula is great. And it's really amazing. Um, as far as brows go, pretty much stuck to the Essence Make Me Brow. Um, did use a little bit of the... Thick and Wow by Essence as well, so either of these um, is usually what I ended up doing for brows, and they work great. Uh, as far as what, yeah, I ended up using as mascara this year. Um, <clears throat> you know, the Essence, the Volume Stylist, and uh, these ones are the Tubi Mascara. And they're always great. I don't think I've ever had a Dutch one of those. Um, the Panorama by L'Oreal is one of my favorites. Really enjoying that this year. Uh, Sky High by Maybelline. And the Fossies by Maybelline. Yeah. These are all, all four of these are just great mascaras. And I don't think you would go wrong with any of these. Um, they're all really good. Really liking them. They've just been great all year long. As far as lip oils, the Alpha Lip Oil, and I have this in several shades that are all down at the bottom of my purse, but they work great. Loving that. Um, let's see, setting sprays. Been actually playing with three this year. The Milani Make It Last and Dewy, the Glisten Up by, um, ColourPop or Fourth Ray, and then the Elf Power Grip, and all three of these are pretty. I like them all. This one is going to give you a dewy look. Uh, this one is just a good setting, and this one will give you a glow up. So dewy glow up and just plain setting. 
So, liking all three of these. Um, let's see, what else do we have here in the complexionary? Powders. Uh, Physician's Formula Butter Glow is a really good drugstore powder. And um, this one's in natural, I think. Yeah, this is the translucent one. Yeah, translucent. So um, they smell really good too. So really liking that. Um, again, the Catrice Sungasm Powder, I always use that. And um, I've been using the Glowish as well throughout the year. So this is, this is a line that I don't think they're going to continue on with as far as Huda goes. But this powder, if you can find it, definitely would recommend going ahead and grabbing that. Uh, complexion, is there anything that we've missed here? Because there have been a lot of products. I think that that's, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much, uh, my butter glosses for NYX, love the butter glosses, especially the sandworms one, um, and then as far as glowy bases, the hard candy, uh, glowy base, this one is glow serum is what they call it. And the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow have both been favorites to go uh, underneath. When I haven't been mixing my foundation, I've been using these. So those have been my favorites there. And I think we had all the favorites. Um, like I said, there's been a ton of stuff in the drugstore. So um, I've been amazed at how many really good formulas that there are. And so I think those are probably my complexion favorites for the year. And um, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.